Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Some joker took my keys. The kickstand. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Yeah, right. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. Ah, booze. Can't. Got a ride. I've never liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I wanna know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You want something? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gonna order something? No. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving.
like to make you just one final offer. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns! Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. How's it look? Well, basically what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? Big emblem on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Wish this gas can was full. Hmm. <laughs> this hose smells like gas. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. 
You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. Oh good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote.